You know, I was talking to Liz earlier and um, the topic of, of how people are so quick to defend mediocrity in their average mindset came up and um, you know, I kind of wanted to make a video and touch on that. Um, it's kind of funny how people are so quick to jump to the defense of, you know, the fact that they've chosen to work for somebody else versus working for themselves and, you know, uh, financially struggle, have no time, you know, and all the excuses people make. Um, now, that doesn't mean that because you choose to work for somebody else that you're unsuccessful or that you're wrong or you're bad. Um, you know, if that's what success means to you, great. But the ones that are complaining day in, day out, about how they hate going to their job every day and they're tired of missing their kids and you know all the things that you see on social media from the same people these are the ones that are jumping over the fence ready to go to war to defend their mindset they won't even listen to anything different they say they want to be what we would like to refer to as wealthy they want to have more time with their family they want all these things but they refuse to do what's necessary to have them you know, and it, it really, I guess it bothers us because we know that, you know, you guys could have so much more if you put that kind of effort into doing something different, that's going to give you those freedoms and, and lock, unlock those chains that are around your ankles from that day to day grind that you complain about every single day. Imagine what your life would be. Imagine what everything could be for your family, the options that you could have, you know, it really struck a chord with us and, and it's not because we think we're better than anybody else. We're no better than anybody. We're all children of God, just like everyone else. Now, it's really just a mindset, you know, and I know a lot of people think of the, a lot of the things that I'm saying right now, and, you know, I have no problem saying it. You know, I've got nothing to hide. Um, I'm not here trying to preach anything that I haven't done. I get the excuses. I get the mindset. I was there. I understand it wholeheartedly. And I think that's why we're so passionate about trying to change people's mindsets or help them to change their mindset because we know what's possible. We came from the bottom, you know, I mean, we were living less than paycheck to paycheck, negative bank accounts, things were getting shut off. I mean, you name it, we've been there, done that. And we're trying to help people avoid those things, especially the ones that are complaining about it every single day. So, you know, the bottom line here, guys, is that you can have whatever success means to you, and that's great. But if you feel like you're successful working for somebody else 50 hours a week, missing time with your kids, then don't complain about it on Facebook. Don't complain about it on Instagram. Don't complain about it when someone calls you and says, hey, how's life? You know, how's, how's your job? Oh, you know, work sucks. I don't get paid enough. Then do something about it. You know, it's that simple. If you're content and you're happy and you feel like you're successful, great then act like it. If you're not happy with your life, then don't be so closed off when someone offers you an opportunity to do all the things that you said you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be confident in what success means for you and go out there and grab it.